Hey guys, hope everyone is doing awesome. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So we are back with the Full Stash series. It's gonna be very different than the other videos that I've had so far in the Full Stash series. Usually I like to have some sort of organization going on. In an ideal world, which right now it's not, and we're gonna <laughs> touch on that, but in an ideal world, I would have things categorized based on brand, type of product, so maybe like traditional gels, curl creams, jellies, that was the plan. There might be a little bit of similar products grouped together here and there, but for the most part, because I have so, so many different stylers from so many different brands in my stash, I'm kind of doing a grab and go thing for this video because for the week I'm having you guys mentally, like it's a, it's a grab out the bag type of thing, not an organization thing. That is because, so if you haven't seen my latest community post that I put up yesterday at the time that I'm filming this, 2024 is doing some things right now. If you saw my end of the year 2023 wrap up video, one of the things that I mentioned that was a big, big change for me last year is that I got a new car after the car that I've had since 2004, since high school. So you can believe my shock when on this past Sunday at around 3 a.m. someone absolutely destroyed my new car while it was parked, going 60 miles an hour. It is, yeah, I've had it since the end of August. I think we're gonna have to do a story time about that because I just can't believe this. Part of me is still in a state of shock. So dealing with all that anxiety is just like on another level right now. So it's gonna be like a little mystery bag with what we're gonna be pulling out today for this Stylers video. And couple all that with the fact that my neighbors as per usual are being very loud and inconsiderate, we might be changing venues. I'm just gonna grab the first thing that I see here, Eden Body Works Natural Curling Jelly. I was on a big old Eden Body Works kick for a while. They were having these like $5 sales. So my stash of Eden Body Works is pretty big. I like Eden Body Works. There are a couple things from them that I love, but for the most part, after I use up the stuff that's in my stash, I don't see myself getting much except for the things that I already know and love. And this one is not one of those. It is a clear jelly type of product. I don't find that it has a lot of hold for me. This one I'm planning to use more so kind of on dry hair, slick my hair back when I'm on the go and it looks kind of busted, but I want it to look cute at least for a few days until I can wash it again. Now this is a throwback product. It takes me to a really fun time in like the natural hair curly hair world the cream of nature flexible styling snot and this was 1000 percent influenced by natural 85 and plus the marketing was really good calling it styling snot that's eye-catching that's interesting so people were either like grossed out by the name or intrigued like I was. Whitney always mentioned in her videos using this product that it is so, 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 so stronghold. And although I love a nice stronghold, I was a little intimidated when I heard just how much this like freezes your hair into place. I'm very much like getting more into like a nice sleek bun or like a sleek ponytail type of moment, just my hair out of my face. So I'm gonna be reaching for more of these gels, more of these stylers. So it says that this flexible styling snot smooths hair, controls edges, tames frizz, and provides exotic shine whatever that means this is the miss Jessie's multi the Miss Jessie's multicultural clear liquid gel y'all this was a tongue twister for me the texture of it looks very very much loosey-goosey if you can see that little bubble flying <laughs> between the top and bottom of the tube this leads me to believe this is a very lightweight thinner product and I need hold for wash and goes but something is telling me to at least try it that way the first time to see how we go I am not a big Miss Jessie's fan I don't have a ton of stuff from them in my stash but this is something that I picked up because a lot of people seem to enjoy it so for a lot of these products I have multiples and I usually just have one of their representatives here in this video to show you guys for the two types of packaging that I have for this product are so cute I just wanted to show them to you together Sultanical sprung coil boosting jelly I think that this is the current packaging and this is what it first looked like this is one of those products that came out when Soul Tentacles would do the seasonal equivalents bundles. These would come out in the spring. I think that's still the same time of the year that it makes its appearance. This product in particular, it says that it provides great curl definition without the shrinkage. And as you can see more so in this packaging, it has like a creamy kind of cream gel type of consistency, not your traditional clear gel. So I think that this one might be fun to try as a one and done too to see if it'll give me some nice moisture on top of whole without having to add any other products. It says that it provides a medium strong hold y'all I'm about to lose my it says that it provides a medium strong hold so that's another reason I think it'll make a really good one and done from Serenza Beauty we've got the butterfly pea flower hair jelly this one came out in spring summer of 2023 this is one of the new seasonal collections and the color just always gets me that butterfly pea flower just looks so so cool almost kind of reminds me of like star fruit 
This is another one that I definitely plan to play around with on dry and wet hair. This is from Wonder Curl, their Curl Control Styling Lotion. Even though it says it's a styling lotion, I find it is definitely more so a gel type of product. Although my hair looked good, it did not feel good. The application process was not a good time. So this is one that I am definitely hoping to use up this year. It gave really good shine, so I think this one might be a dry hair only type of vibe because on wet hair, it just went on super, super tacky. It felt like it was like sucking some of the moisture out of my hair, which is definitely not what we want. Now on the other side of the spectrum is a product that I'm surprised every time I use it that I don't use it more because my results are always consistently so good is the Wet Line Extreme Gel. This was one of my favorite reviews on my channel. This is back in the webcam days. The former version of this gel gave me the most definition that I'd ever had for a wash and go. I think I got like 11 day hair from that gel every single time I used it. So I was totally, totally heartbroken when they reformulated it and they formulated it again and this is what we have now. The Wet Line Extreme Hair Gel Speaking of elongation with that Sultanicals product that we just talked about, this gives me some incredible, incredible hang time when it comes to my wash and goes, twists, you name it. Now this one, <laughs> this video is a big reminder of how far I have to go in my use up the stash mission. I have had this incredibly long. Like this is a vintage, vintage product to the point where I'm gonna be second guessing if I should use it. This is the Eco Styler Extreme Hold Spike Shine and grip styling cream gel it says it has olive oil and it's supposed to give you conditioning moisturizing non flaky non tacky results look how intense this is this gives me like x games vibes this gives me like 1998 i promise i've not had this since the 90s but just the overall packaging that's what it's giving me it's nostalgia from serenzo beauty we've got the sea moss hair gel i have enjoyed every hair gel that i've tried from serenzo beauty thus far they give me hold but not crunchy hold it's very soft and touchy so I am expecting that the sea moss gel is going to give me similar results I believe that this gel is no longer available But I did see recently that Sorenzo Beauty is bringing back my favorite favorite hair gel from them the Ayurvedic hair gel and they have it back in stock after not being able to get a particular ingredient for it if you are looking for a new gel to try I highly recommend the Ayurvedic hair gel now this one I didn't know where to include because it's a pretty interesting product so I put it in the styler category because I have used it on twist a few times and although it doesn't give a ton of hold it gives like a nice soft hold I would say like my twists turn out like this when I use this product, like a little bit looser, not as much hold, but it gets the job done. This is from Eden Body Works, their Almond Marshmallow Hydration Serum. I have also used this under different products and it does not give me hydration, which is the reason why I decided to experiment with it a few different ways because it is very unique. The texture is kind of unlike anything else that I have in my stash. It's not like a slippery, slippery serum, like the ones from Ambell's Perfect Blend that I love, but the way that I have found that I like it the most is smoothing my hair back. It gives me almost like a very thin liquid gel consistency and effect on my hair to where it will smooth my hair down and give me like a lot of shine. This is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. I just had a flashback actually. I did have a successful time using this, kind of talking about the Eden Body Works just now, like brought it all back to me. In my Brazilian Bikini Wax video, I had this really cute like a half up, half down situation and I used this on dry hair to smooth and that turned out so, so pretty. Like it stuck out in my mind because I finally found a product from this line that I liked. I did not like this on wet hair. The key for me is dry hair and smoothing. I'm saying this for future Ashley too in case I forget again. From my L, we've got the Honey and Ginger Styling Gel. I don't have much of this left. I think I did a whole review on this too when it first came out. The wash and go that I got from this was okay. It didn't have enough hold. I still had a good amount of frizz. I have so, so many of these. This is from Nature's Little Secret. They're flaxy, curly custard. I think this has gone through a couple of reformulations since I tried it. So the version that I have now is not what they have currently. I don't even know if this is still being sold by Nature's Little Secret. But anytime I talk about the amount of Nature's Little Secret that I have in my stash, I always tell you guys a story about when they first came out, they had crazy good sales. And one of the sales was that you could get their entire line for 50% off. So I did that a couple of times. <laughs> the definition that it gives me is okay, not great. I've tried it on wash and goes, didn't love it. Definitely the way that I plan to use up all these bottles is on twists. A lot of these in this section are kind of like cousins. Very, very similar. I'm going to be using them up in very very similar ways this one is from tgin the curl bomb moisturizing styling gel compared to the my L, this one gives me a softer hold not as crunchy and gives me more moisture this one is definitely something that i did not have great luck with on a wash and go because of the lack of hold that additional moisture did leave my hair feeling really nice so dry hair twists 
buns maybe i'll try this on wet hair how do i want to use this on wet hair maybe like a moisturized ponytail situation and then put it up that way now onto one of the few times in this video where we have things from different brands in a similar product category and that is mousse mousses mousse the first mousse that we have here is from giovanni their natural mousse air turbocharged hair styling foam this says it gives a medium to firm hold and i enjoy this as you can see i'm almost at the bottom of it here it has really good ingredients i don't know if this is still being made by giovanni i like to use this to smooth dry hair i've also used it on my flexi rods and rod sets which are always a fail but at least my hair is shiny and soft afterwards so the product did something good there and probably my favorite of this category is from baskin bloom this is their hydrating vitamin curl mousse this is the one that inspired my video idea that i'm going to be trying to do this year this is one of their newer products they came out with in the past few years and it really did deliver on the softness the hydration but a lot of times that i've used a mousse it will give me shine that like nice crispness when it comes to like a flexi rod set or a rod set and not much in way of softness but this is a product that i've used before that gave me slip it gave me moisture it gave me a nice amount of hold i've seen a lot of people use this on wash and goes i've never been bold enough to try that but this might be the year this one used to be my favorite when i would attempt those rod sets this is the jane carter solution wrap and roll for smooth styles wrapping and setting hair and this was just super reliable made my hair feel very very soft i even have multiples of this because i like the results so much the from the main choice the pink lemonade and coconut super antioxidant texture beautifier mousse pick this up i i just want to just scream in my house so i don't bother the people quietly pretty packaging but i don't expect myself to fall in love with this a lot of body coconut and shea wrap me foaming mousse use this a few times it did an okay job this line smells so so good this is the eden body works papaya caster foam conditioner now this one is technically not a mousse look at it it's just so mousse like that i ended up putting it in this video major throwback from coily head chick this is the hair perfection this stuff was awesome it smelled like cherry almond it gave my wash and go some really really pretty curls even though it's a little bit on the looser consistency it still gave me some nice hold we're gonna rip the band-aid off with this one genador beauty smooth and defined moisturizing gel styler medium to strong flexible hold gel as i've mentioned anytime that i mention this product it is the best gel I've ever used. But this brand, I am 99% sure, is out of business. Very, very sad. I'm going to miss this so much. To say I'm gonna miss this is really an understatement. This gel is so good that I just don't use it much anymore because I know that once the tubes that I have are gone, I'm probably gonna like shed physical tears. It's not gonna be good. So I'm going to just enjoy the amazing elongation, softness, smoothness, frizz free, beautiful definition that it gives me for however long that I can and hope that somehow, some way, they maybe come back. Also from Genador Beauty is their Swirl Curls Gel Styler. It says that this one also provides soft to medium hold. One of my favorite videos on my channel is when I did a down the middle head to head of this product and the gel and it was so dramatically different how my hair looked. I stopped my hair in a wash ago and had this product on one side and the gel on the other and it was like night and day. This one left my hair feeling not as soft, a lot more shrinkage and just not as good as that gel. So I'm just gonna be using this up. I definitely won't be as sad when this one goes. From Annabelle's Perfect Blend is the Hydrating Curl Gel. Look at that packaging, it looks so, so cute. I think that this is going to be really, really moisturizing but not give me a ton of hold. There's predictions based on the ingredients here. It's got kakui seed oil is the second ingredient so this i'm guessing is going to be really emollient with such a high oil content so that might also make it another good contender on dry hair when i need some major shine and pliability might bust this one out for that purpose too i have so many of these in my stash it's the uncle funky's daughter curly magic you guys if you know me and you've been with me for a while you know that my history and love for the curly magic has gone back for years and years and years i know that there was a big thing like a couple years ago at this point about the ingredients changing i haven't purchased from this brand in a long time so let me know if you've tried a new version of the curly magic recently what do you think about it i would really really love to know from pretty fizzies is the berry bliss curling gel this brand is no longer around they had a pineapple glaze that my hair really really enjoyed i am hoping that this will give similar results because that was awesome on a wash and go set a twist diva curl is the ultra defining gel a little travel size this is like water almost y'all from curls by nature is the herbal curl defining gel fragrance free i used to enjoy the former version of this product before they did a reformulation so we'll see how i go with this version it's been so long since i purchased this that they might even have like a newer version than this one this used to be one of my favorite products back in my like 
early early days of being natural this is from organic root stimulator their lock and twist gel this was with me during my transition when i was growing out my texturizer and it blended the two textures from nectar and main is the heavenly hydration elongating twisting custard this is from the she scented curl origins sprouted curlies family of brands and i don't think nectar and main is around anymore but when i picked this up they had an amazing sale and i got almost everything so i'll enjoy this while i've got it in my stash from camille rose is their almond jai twisting butter i love this product so much i got it on clearance from walmart a few months ago and it gives me really nice soft twists beautiful beautiful twist outs that just feel like they are just kissed with hydration so i will also be using this after i use my older one that i have in my stash but it was nice to snag this for a good price from three sisters of nature is the natural curling jello i got this at a hair show and i've heard horrible things about it so wish me luck when it comes to finally busting this out and using it this one gives me such good vibes this was a custom product that i made on etsy a long time ago so i really need to use this it's from a brand called true polaris it's a truly curly styling gel customized just for you you were able to say if you wanted glycerin, no glycerin, protein, no protein, choose your scent, just really play around with it. So every time I look at this, it gets me every time because it's so cute. So from the times that I've used this, it's pretty much a standard flaxseed gel. The coolness factor was in being able to customize it a bit. This is a long, long time favorite and one of my favorite gels. It gives me so much definition. And this is definitely one of my favorite flaxseed based gels. This is from Curl Mix and it is unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I haven't checked the website to confirm 100%, but I'm like, just like that Genador Beauty, like 90 something percent sure that it's been discontinued. But unlike Genador Beauty, Curl Mix is still around, thankfully. This this is the pure flaxseed gel and the unscented fragrance this one has sweet almond oil in there i've done a few partnerships with curl mix and every time that i show my wash and go in those videos i'm always amazed at how much definition i have and all that shine it is super super slippery it is pretty loose just like many flaxseed gels like that was quick <laughs> super super loose so it's not that clear sticky gel consistency that a lot of my other favorites have so my hair isn't as elongated this is more so one of my like volume gels when i want a lot of definition but i want to maintain volume at the same time these are so fun they're not your traditional stylers these are my color hair gels i use these on top of another gel but sometimes i do use them as a styler and as a color depositing gel because they do have a nice amount of hold on their own they are aloe vera based so this is from Gemini Naturals. I've talked about them since they came on the scene as Pop Curl before they name changed to Gemini Naturals. I am someone who cannot do fun hair colors. My hair will break off and run away. I've never tried permanent hair color since Olaplex has been a thing. I don't want to risk it. No thank you. So to quench my hair color desires, I will use one or a combination of these colors. The first color that I have here is Midnight. It's kind of like a bluish purple tinged color and this is one of my favorites the colors are really buildable so you can start with one layer where it's really subtle or you can really lay it on which is what i like to do and your hair looks incredibly incredibly opaque with the color and it's just so fun another one in that same color family is orchid this is when they were a pop curl i don't know if orchid is still around compared to the midnight is a bit more purple toned as you can see I used this one all over my hair last May to give me that aerial look that I did when The Little Mermaid was coming out. This is in the color Cranberry. It's a super, super vibrant red. I've used just one layer just on the tips of my hair to give me kind of like an ombre effect. But my favorite way to use it, as I've mentioned, is to really pack on whichever color or combination to give me a super, super vibrant effect. And this one gives me such a realistic looking red. I'll make sure to link up in the eye above if you want to see how I did that aerial look. And plus the twist out itself after using this was super, super defined elongated and it just looks so healthy that was one of my favorite favorite looks from 2023 this is their older packaging we're definitely gonna get into the new one and the next couple of colors for sure the name of this one always makes me happy because I love sunsets like that's half my camera roll this is a beautiful rich orange as you can see it is well loved from other colors splattered up here and all of this one looks super super vibrant on the hair it is very very buildable and subtle when I use this by itself it's almost like a very very subtle like auburn tone and then as I build it it up it never gets quite this bright unlike the blues and the pinks this is one that looks more so your traditional if you go into the salon and get highlights type of color so if you want to dabble with hair color and you want something that's a little bit more subtle another of my blues this is in the color cobalt this one's like a really true saturated blue it's really fun to use as a highlight on top of another base color a nice fun little pop 
This is in their old packaging when they used to be pop curl color, but they did have plain Jane from Gemini Naturals the last few times I checked their website. And this is the gel base with no color added that you can use because some people like this so much as a styler, but they want the versatility of using it without the color. So here we have the plain Jane aloe vera gel. Another of the more subtle colors is blush. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous rose gold that I have used so many times. I think I've gone through like three or so bottles of this and it's just so, so pretty. Blush is great on its own, but again with the very vibrant colors. I have some gel that came loose in one of these bags and I've been like slowly adding it to my hair as I find it. I'm pretty sure this is curly magic based on how it feels and the fact that I had so many bottles of that in the bag with the products that we're talking about. So here is Gemini Naturals number one bestseller bronze beauty. This 100% makes my hair look like I just got highlights. It's so warm. It's very buildable. You can give your hair just a nice little hint of that bronze shimmer. I used four different colors a few years ago for one of my birthdays and this was the base and it was so so pretty. People thought I got my hair like actually colored professionally because it looks so realistic. Here is Midnight in the new packaging and here is bronze beauty you can see the color a little bit on the bottom here but that's why I wanted to show you guys what it looks like right here just oh so so pretty and the last color that I have from Gemini Naturals is mulberry it is a very very pretty purpley pinky berry shade just like the name entails this one was really fun to add as an accent when I did that galaxy space inspired look next up is good old aloe vera gel I have a couple bottles of this I have this one that's also covered in gel this is from the brand fruit of the earth and it is fragrance free and it has no color added when it comes to aloe vera i like to use it mostly on twists or use it on dry hair to slick my hair back because it's very softening it doesn't give me as much hold as i need for a wash and go this is from the brand lily of the desert 99 percent aloe vera jelly this one unlike the fruit of the earth is a little bit looser a little bit more you can hear it in there, a little bit more moisturizing. So I use this one exclusively on slicking my hair back. From Sorenzo Beauty, we've got the Hibiscus and Strawberry Hair Gel. This is the second collection in addition to the Butterfly Pea Flower that came out during the spring and summer, and I really, really like this line. Tons of shine, smelled amazing, left my hair feeling super, super soft while still keeping it in place. I haven't used this one before, but I love aloe so much and things from Sorenzo Beauty, so I'm sure I will enjoy this. The Aloe Jelly, it's a light hold styling product that's great for wash and goes, twists. It's got glycerin, slippery, Elm, hibiscus, one of my favorites, burdock, love that too. Nice consistency to play around with a few different ways. Y'all, the saga with this one, I feel like this is one of the ones I like the most, like this like deeper pink color. They went through so many formulation changes, it wasn't even funny. This is the Camille Rose Curl Maker. This, as I've mentioned, whenever I talk about this product, was one of my favorite products, so, so good. But then Camille Rose changed the formula, it jacked up my hair, it was so drying. I think it had like hydrolyzed wheat protein as a second ingredient, and then it had like a ton of other proteins in there. I'm not someone that's protein sensitive, but my hair was like, whoa, slow it down a little bit. And then they changed it again and my hair liked it a bit better. And then they changed it a third, and y'all, they changed it like four times. So I'm hoping that my hair still enjoys this. I do have some more of like the light pink ones. We'll see how we go with those because I, I feel like those are the, the roughy debunk ones. So I don't know what the curl maker is looking like now since I stopped getting it after like formula change number four. So if you use the current formulation, let me know what you thinking if you're liking it. From curls and potions we've got the curling potion defining and styling gel. It enhances curl definition and it's also humidity resistant. Yes please. Living in the south humidity is definitely a thing even in the winter time. So that's one of the biggest reasons that I am a firm hold gel girly when it comes to my wash and goes. There's marshmallow root in there. Flaxseed. Really really plan to dive into more curls and potions this year. Palmer's cocoa butter and biotin length retention styling nectar. It's a zero crunch weightless definition gel. I don't know what to expect from this product Product, hence why I have not used it yet. Aussie Instant Freeze Gel 20 Hour Max Hold with Australian jojoba oil and sea kelp. I need more than 20 hours Aussie so hopefully whenever I do use this I'll get like a few days out of it. I don't expect this is going to be one that I'm going to love for a wash and go but I might play around with it. But I feel the product like from here down. I might be able to knock this out in like two or three uses if I do use it for a wash and go. This might be in the empty sooner than I planned based on that. This is the Beautiful Textures Curl Definer Styling Custard for Mixed Textures. This is a very, very loosey-goosey product. I have not seen this on the shelves 
in a very very long time so i am like 80 percent 90 percent sure that this has been discontinued but i do remember that when i have used this i've used about half of it i got good results not great but good and it says on here it gives intense moisture i don't remember this being particularly moisturizing but whenever i revisit this i'll definitely keep that in mind and we'll see from aunt jackie's it's a don't shrink flaxseed elongating curling gel i know that this one is a big favorite amongst a lot of people and when it came to noticing any type of like remarkable elongation i don't remember it really standing out for me this is curl care by dr miracle the stronghold gel it's got protein and collagen for strength moisture and conditioning this i got on a vacation with my best friend we went to one of our favorite beach towns and it was so so fun and we happened to go to a walmart and then we went to a dollar store just to see what kind of different stuff they had compared to the ones we have back home and i found a bunch of these for a dollar and i thought the ingredients were pretty good and the walmart was so clean and nice and just pleasant to visit which is not the case for a lot of the walmarts here in my area now that i'm reminiscing and holding this stuff i think i have used it before maybe on just like a bun or something so i have no like memory of what i thought of it this might be another good wash and go or use on dry hair to braid type of situation now this is interesting this actually broke in my bag yesterday when i was preparing for this part of the video i was scooping the product up and i put it on my hair and at first it felt like like this was a very very firm holding gel which i think that it is which i like but kind of drying but now that i'm actually feeling my hair especially the underside where i put the bulk of the gel my hair feels like the curls feel kind of nice so there's a little bit of potential here this is the mixed chick styling gel it says that there is no flakes with this it defines it sculpts and it adds texture and thickens i really like the packaging whenever mixed chicks came out with this like huge variety of products after just having the leave-in for so long i was very very intrigued i think i got this from target last night putting this in my hair unplanned was the first time i've used it it does have a fair amount of protein in here so this is not something that i would use every wash day back to back to back now onto one of my favorite brands naturally Adabella. i've got a few different stylers from them very very conditioning very creamy i can't wait to see what they do with like a gel gel in the future because i already have really good results with their creamy more moisture based stylers the first that i have here is from their newest line so far which came out last summer their nurture growth line this is the kiwi mint cream styler i just always talk about how much i love the packaging it's like from a garden center really really cute kind of potted plant vibe mm, this is what it looks like very creamy i have a whole review on this line that i'll make sure to link up above if you want to check it out i use this entire line from cleansing all the way to styling it was definitely one of my favorite wash days of 2023 and also from the nurtured growth line from naturally adabella is the pomegranate mint pudding this one has mint hydrosol takuma oil and custard apple seed oil which i'd never heard of before which is really cool this one has like a slightly fruity fruit fragrance a little bit of that pomegranate oil I definitely smell coming through this is a long time favorite of mine from naturally Adabella their butter fantasy moisturizing butter cream it's got cocoa butter mango butter and maru maru butter this is so awesome for a set of really nice touchable velvety soft twists so if you're someone who's not a fan of crunch from a gel highly recommend this I was able to use this in the summertime and it held up last but not least from naturally Adabella is the twist assist styling gel cream it's got flaxseed gel mango butter and aloe vera gel I predict this is going to give me a little extra extra hole while still maintaining like that nice soft feeling that I like in my twist. Give me some really nice shine with that flaxseed in there as well as my love the aloe vera gel. This is a major major blast from the past. This is from Kamaza Care. This is taking me like back in the archives like way way back. The Califia Styling Pudding. This was one I used to order from Sage Natural Suiticals or if I would come across a really cool beauty supply store that sell like kind of more indie brands. It's supposed to be good for minimizing shrinkage, smoothing the edges, keeping your curls defined without making your hair dry and stiff i'm going to pop off the seal so we can see together but this stuff was one of the most unique looking products i've ever used it's almost like a caramel pudding type of situation enjoying this jar and walk down memory lane once i start using it again now on the other side of the spectrum we're back to the main choice this is the crystal orchid biotin infused styling gel was a crystal orchid from their og line i think this might have been from when they first first came out almost i'm just not a fan of the main choice as we've talked about i have had some hits but mostly misses from them so this one i predict is just going to be a 
use up on a bun or a quick little ponytail situation. I don't have high hopes for it. The texture of it doesn't look like it's gonna do much for me. So yesterday when I was switching out the products, my kitchen decided to flood and it was the first day of Shark Week. So my uterus was progressively feeling like I was being punched from the inside. So we are back with a new day, same sweatshirt for continuity. So we're gonna jump into this next batch of stylers. We're gonna start with Shea Moisture. We've got the Superfruit Multivitamin Soft Curl Gel Cream. Now with it saying soft curl gel, gel cream. I am not thinking that this is going to work for me for a wash and go, but I do plan to try it maybe on dry hair for some moisture and some additional frizz control. The Superfruit line from Shea Moisture is definitely my favorite of all the trillions that Shea Moisture has come out with over the years. It's got all these amazing sounding claims right on the tube. Hydration, nourishment, helps to seal, hold, protect, shine, so we'll see. Now on the other hand, this one I do not have any hopes for whatsoever because everything I've tried from this line I have hated. This is from their high Pro porosity line, the Mongongo and hemp seed oil, high porosity moisture seal, more like moisture steel because everything I used from this just left my hair feeling super, super dry and rough. Moisture seal styling gel. It's supposed to define and control low moisture retention, curly, coily hair. I'm definitely gonna be trying this on a low stakes hair day. I don't wanna put all my like cute hair eggs in a basket with this. Yucca and Plantain Anti-Breakage Firm Hold Gel Cream. It's got baobab oil, cilantro, and garlic extracts, which is supposed to be really good for your hair follicles, for hair growth, strengthening. It's a supposed to be good for frizzy split and breaking hair which is something that I have on a rotating basis so this might be one to use when my hair feels like it can use a little extra strength in addition to protein treatments so this is one that I would concentrate on my ends as well as my roots if I was using it on dry hair so although I don't think this one would be a good contender for a wash and go as well I am willing to play around with this one a little bit more off the bat like maybe a set of twists than just on dry hair initially because those claims sound very very interesting. I remember enjoying this line and I was sad when Shea Moisture got rid of it but they've gotten rid of almost every line that I really like so I'm not really surprised. From the beloved Jamaican Black Castor Oil line is the Strengthen and Grow Conditioning Shine Gel with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin. I haven't had much luck with this line. I've tried the spray which is okay like the refresher, the leave-in which was just so so to me. The conditioner, the rinse out, didn't really love it. The shampoo kind of dried out my hair. The braid and lock butter which is my favorite thing from this line. So I've not tried this one so it remains to be seen. I remember using this and it was just very underwhelming. Kind of it didn't dry out my hair, but it definitely didn't do anything in the way of like making it look that great or making it feel that great. It was very, very so-so. It's from the Sacha Enchi line, the Omega 369 Rescue and Repair Twist and Lock Gel. It's supposed to be good for damaged and distressed hair. It's got quinoa and rose of Jericho extracts. I was not impressed with this line at all. I can't remember anything that I've used from this that I actually enjoyed. I tend to like rose scents and I always forget how strong this is until I take the package off. It is not like a, ooh, but I can deal with a strong scent that I'm not a fan of. But what I don't love is when a product just doesn't perform well for me and that's kind of where we are with the Sacha Inchi line. Another one I'm not a fan of is the Curling Souffle from the Coconut Hibiscus OG line. This is that thick, sugary, like I've accidentally gotten some on my lips before and it tastes just like sugar because there's agave in it. Sugary, sticky, sweet, souffle gel type of thing. And I remember using this when it first came out and I had so many bees following me, it was terrifying. Don't know how I'm gonna use it up. A bun might be my best option because then I won't have it all on my shoulders and getting all over my clothes. Even when my hair dries, you can feel like a little tackiness to it. It's nowhere near as bad as when it's wet, but you can still feel it and it just doesn't feel great. From the jojoba and okuba butter line is the braid up conditioning gel with carrot seed oil. This is supposed to be good specifically for protective styles. I think I've tried their kind of leave-in conditioner type of product from this line and I enjoyed it. So I think this is going to be a nice conditioning soft hold type of gel. We've got two of these in my stash I've heard very good things about. From the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil line is the Hydrate and Design Max Hold Gel with Fig Extract and Baobab Oil. I've had good luck with the deep conditioner from this line so I have a good feeling about this gel. This it says max hold, I might be tempted to try this on a wash and go first. When my mom and I would go to New York and we would go to Ricky's and different places before stuff became so widely available online, this tells you how long I've had this product. This is from Bumble and Bumble. This is the BB Curl Style Anti-Humidity Gel Oil. And I just thought it was so cool that it was a gel oil. I didn't know what to expect from this. It has like that kind of 
salon product type of smell to it. This is what it looks like. It is very, very loose. Give me like the emollients and shine from the oil with the addition of some hold. I don't know if I'm gonna come across it in this video because I have so many products that there's probably gonna be a few that are missing. There is a much more affordable gel oil that I have, I think from Cream of Nature maybe. So speaking of Cream of Nature, this is the Argan Oil Twisting Custard. It's supposed to be good for defining and elongating for crunch-free curls. And I have not gotten anything from Cream of Nature in the longest time i am just going to be using up the stuff i have and then i'm good unless i happen to fall in love with like that snot gel or something the one and only product from cream of nature that i've absolutely loved was their original white bottle red and yellow shampoo that shampoo was one of the most conditioning moisturizing shampoos i have ever used in my life it left my hair feeling magical so soft so plush so on the goodwill of that shampoo alone is the reason i've picked up other cream of nature things some little cheap thrills that i'm not sure if i'm gonna like but one day we'll find out if i do is the lusty naturals argan oil curl wave twist shaping gel that i got from dollar tree back when things were still a dollar i was like what and the second one is also from lusty their argan oil. wait is this the same thing hold on a second this is just the same gel in different packaging a lot different actually i take it back so the name is pretty much the same this one the ingredients are not as good as this one this one has a lot more extracts in there so i don't know which one is currently on the shelf but this one based on the ingredients alone definitely seems like the better gel to me upon initial inspection so if you've tried either version of this in the past let me know what you think another big time vintage product especially when it comes to the packaging because this now comes in a tube is the comet biologics olive and honey hydrating balm it softens and hydrates very dry hair comet is a fantastic brand for if your hair is super super dry it is definitely like medicine healing for your hair it's so so good it goes like beyond just general like styling i find it really does the job when my hair feels like it is about to break off and run away so love this brand i haven't really purchased anything from them recently because i have so much stuff in my stash that i'm really trying to use so if i do purchase something it is on a much smaller scale than it used to be and if i do have any new products it's usually with brand partnerships and i miss their old packaging especially since this product now is four ounces but they didn't change the 19 dollars price tag i have it in the tube the newer version but it used to be eight ounces but now it's four like what are we doing commit I don't like that. I have a little bit of the one the tube left. The one that I have, the slightly newer but not quite as new one, is a little bit tackier than this one. It didn't make my hair feel quite as ridiculously hydrated and soft as this version, but still a really good product. I don't know if I'll purchase it again because I don't like when brands get smaller, but the prices don't follow suit. Also from Comet is the Honeybush Tea Soft Hold Gel. I don't know if they are still making this one anymore. I hope they are. This is a very gentle gel. Very, very lightweight, but it just leaves so much hydration behind this was clutch for me when i was transitioning from my texturizer and then after all that texturizer was gone i continued to purchase this because it left my hair feeling so good from sorenzo beauty their hair jelly i've taken this with me on a few different trips and used it to slick my hair back and i had this one in the twisted cotton candy fragrance here's the one i was thinking of okay i'm pretty sure there's a third one but this one's like an in the middle type of product the bumble and bumble gel oil that we were talking about earlier there was this one which was at the higher end of the price range this one from she scented or curl origin she scented that was like the mid range and it was another one that i'm pretty sure was from cream of nature the gel oil i feel like i'm gonna like this one the most this is the she scented pomegranate pear oil and gel hair pudding it's a no crunch styling gel pomegranate pear i bet this is gonna smell so good i haven't taken the plastic off yet i try to keep things nice and sealed until i'm like ready ready to use the product to just try to preserve freshness as much as possible but y'all look how pretty this is this looks so cute it looks so nice this one again just like the one from bumble and bumble i think it's gonna leave my hair feeling super emollient really nice soft twist maybe a cute soft little ponytail moment i don't even know if she sent it so has this anymore also from she sent it is a plum nectar and agave curl perfection styling custard this one oh, i love how they do these big old 13 ounces of product but this one kind of similar to these non like super holding type of products i plan to experiment with them pretty much every type of way except for a wash and go now this one has been a long time favorite of mine that i've returned to over the years probably for i don't know maybe 15 years or so this is the macadamia 
mixing gel also from she sent it this used to come in a much smaller container so we love when things get upgraded in the ounce department this is a very soft holding gel for me it's again not something I would use for a wash and go but for a set of twists it leaves them feeling so soft juicy and moisturized it gives me a good amount of hold to wear I'm gonna get at least a week plus from this type of gel I might not be able to do my like double digit days where I used to be able to do like 13 14 days but for a week of solid twists and a really pretty twist out I've always been very happy with this gel it says it provides a medium hold I would say for me it's a soft to medium hold some more gels from that KC care care line I've seen these in Target I haven't seen them in a long time I actually got these on clearance this is the gel essence strengthening gel with extra virgin olive oil it says it is for a natural and relaxed hair I don't know what it was about this gel that intrigued me I'm pretty sure that product junkie diva she tried these I can't remember if she really liked them but I just remember seeing the colors and I was like oh that looks interesting it's this really pretty lemon yellow color pretty simple ingredient list nothing that kind of like really stands out to me so this is another one that I think would be probably relegated to slick my hair back territory and same with this one although this one is a moisturizing gel whereas this one the yellow was a strengthening this one is more focused on moisture with Jamaican black castor oil and it's a really pretty pink color so I'm gonna be using them the same way from my L is the twisting souffle from their pomegranate and honey line I'm pretty sure I had the gel version of this too I don't know if I've used that up I might have souffle is more cream based and not super super runny and it does an okay job for me another one that I'm not like super super impressed by I think I got this from the dollar store too this is from Schwarzkopf the smooth and shine camellia oil and shea butter curl defining gel it's alcohol free and it says that it leaves curls light and helps prevent frizz so definitely based on that description it is not anything that I would use to look for for any sort of major hold I think it got me mainly because of the camellia oil I was like oh I like camellia oil this is another one like I've said with so many gels in this video slick bag buns ponytail vibes I don't expect too much from this gel but who knows it might surprise me I see on the back here it also says that it gives you a flexible hole with up to 82% less breakage so I will definitely be keeping that in mind another one from that hair show that I went to from three sisters of nature their spiral pudding I have not heard good things about this as I've mentioned I've been avoiding these for that very reason because I don't think my hair is gonna like them so I am going to try to use up at least one three sisters of nature product this year three systems of nature has just been like haunting me and it says that this is comparable to miss jesse's curly pudding i don't know if you could say that legally maybe that's why i never heard much else from three sisters i'm not sure from blended beauty is the happy nappy styles it says that this is a rich leave-in styling cream and i definitely use it for its styling purposes this stuff is really really thick i don't remember ever using this as a leave-in and i don't remember using it as a one and done i would usually do a leave-in conditioner because this bad boy is thick and I have had luck with some thicker leave-in conditioners but this is not one that I can remember ever using it that way this was one of my go-to brands if early on in my hair care journey I used a lot of products from blended beauty I loved their shampoo it smelled like I don't know this cinnamon toast crunch caramel delight and it left my hair feeling so soft so smooth one of the best shampoos I've ever used this used to be one of my go-to products for some really soft solid twists I got the last batch all on the table ready to go so we're gonna keep this train moving with three sisters of nature this this is their natural lengthening cream it elongates curls and waves for maximum volume and natural shine and it again says it's comparable to miss jesse's stretch silkening cream they had an amazing sale at the world natural hair show when i got this it was definitely not 12.99 i think it was three products for like like nine dollars or something like that ingredients look decent i just i don't know y'all i just got a feeling now a product that i know and love i am pretty sure that with some of these cream based products in this stylers video that i talked talked about at least a couple of them in my moisturizer video which was the one previous to this things get really blurred when it comes to like stylers that are cream based that I also use as moisturizers that can double as leave-ins so we might have some deja vu moments in this video and I think this is definitely one of them the Sorenza Beauty hair pudding I think this is discontinued maybe I'm not sure fantastic super super moisturizing leave-in conditioner but the texture of it lends itself to being an amazing one and done it leaves my hair feeling super super hydrated 
to where I can just skip using an additional leave-in from Melanin Hair Care, the Twist Elongating Style Cream. I was so sure this is gonna work so good for me. I ordered two. I was not impressed with this at all. I did a full review on this product as well as the multi-use oil. There was not a lot of elongation. I was looking at that video recently and my hair was so healthy. It looked so, so good. And it was a lot longer. So the elongation that I had was just my hair being longer in general. Definitely was not a result of this product. So on paper, I really like this product. But as far as the actual performance in my hair, just not a big fan. From Annabelle's Perfect Blend, we've got the Cashmere Cream. I believe this is a body care product that you could also use on your hair. And the ingredients on this are so good. I've been holding on to this because if you guys have seen some of these videos in this series, you know that certain products that I know I won't be able to get anymore, I'm holding for a special occasion. And it comes in this big old beautiful 16 ounce. So I am really looking forward to finally using this bad boy this year. Now this one on the other hand, I do not have a good feeling about just like I haven't had a feeling about anything from this line. This is the Curls Cashmere and Caviar Collection. Their hair jelly, just like the main choice, probably even more so with this brand. As I've talked about with curls, I just don't have good luck with it. It says that you can style while you reconstruct and strengthen your stressed and damaged hair. Light hold with added sheen and definition. So this bad boy is all about strengthening while you style. Now I don't know if this brand is around anymore, but it used to be one that I really enjoyed and it is Donna Marie. This is the older packaging. This is the Dream Curling Cream. And this just brings me back to that like really, really fun period of hair products. I would use this on a set of twists. It was a really nice one and done. It was loose, but not too loose. This is another favorite from Donna Marie, their Super Buttercream. I have used this as a sealant as well as a one and done styler. And they're both incredibly different with the Dream Curling Cream being a lot looser. This one is definitely more on the butter consistency, but it does have aloe and water as the first two ingredients as well as glycerin. And I've been holding on to both of them since I don't know if they're around anymore. Going back to Pretty Fizzies, this is their Berry Bliss Curling Gel. As I mentioned, I love their Pineapple Glaze. It was so good. Really great wash and go product. I'm glad that I have these hair glazes that I heard are pretty similar to the pineapple hair glaze. It kind of looks like a strawberry jam. Also from Pretty Fizzies, keeping with the whole berry thing, is the plum berry custard. It looks like grape jam. Straight out the packaging. This one smells like, I don't know, like really fresh and clean, almost like laundry. From the Long and Luxe line from As I Am is a curl enhancing smoothie, curl defining cream. I'm gonna be experimenting with it with some different leave-ins, see if I get better results. Since you do get so much product, so I do have a lot to play around with. Maybe I will end up liking it a little bit better by the end of the jar. This is Pure Oils by Silk Elements, their moisturizing marmalade. I got this because the main objective reviewed this on her blog, super, super loose product. I haven't been in Sally Beauty to look for this in a really long time, so this might even be discontinued now. I'm always a little happy when I talk about this brand. This is CC Naturals, which I have a feeling has some sort of affiliation with um, a curl of a sauce. So we're gonna keep this one short and sweet. This is the CC's Naturals, what is this? The Creamy Flax. It doesn't have any instructions. Based on the ingredients, I think it'll be pretty flexible to where I can use it a few different ways. This is the CC's Naturals Buttercream. I was also planning to use this one as a one and done, but also use this one a little bit more so on dry hair to re-moisturize, since it seems to be a touch looser than the Creamy Flax, but not super watery so that I can still play around with it maybe as a styler as well. I got this from another hair show. I think this was from the ubiquitous show in DC. This is the Bronner Brothers Firm Hold Curling Gel. It's got aloe and pectin in it. They had a really, really good deal. I picked up like three of these. I thought this would be a nice, easy little gel to do like slick back looks, buns, all that fun stuff. I met it with Trini Girl Natural when we went to the show and we both got a couple of these. Eden Body Works Papaya Caster Line, AKA one of the best smelling lines I have ever used. Their Nourishing Curl Jam. The thing I like most about it is the smell. It's all right. I've used this on a set of twists and they weren't anything to write home about. The shine wasn't really stand out. The softness, the hold and definition were just okay. It says that it's a styling and conditioning moisturizing jelly. I would not call this a jelly. I see this like a curl cream almost. I know Dollar Tree Fine, this is the Lusty Organics Olive Oil Styling Gel. I got it because of the price, the size, and the okay ingredients for a dollar. African Pride is the Shea Butter Miracle Moisture Intense Curl Styling Cup. I feel like this is more like a curl activator type of product for me. It doesn't give a ton of hold, but it is just so 
loose that this is definitely something that I would use more so just to slick my hair back not really use as a styler styler from curl keeper is the ultimate hold with frizz control gel I was really into the whole curl keeper thing when I first went back to my curls and I even was trying to convince myself how I was gonna find a way for my mom and I to go to Canada for me to get my hair cut by Jonathan torch who's the guy who founded curl maker and formulated these products I've never had a professional like haircut by any one since I've been natural I did not have good luck with the curl keeper it was just like putting like liquid plastic on my hair or something it was not a good time so I got a couple of other products this I am not again really holding out hope that this is gonna become the next great HG for me I'm always gonna pronounce this wrong even though people have told me I'm just gonna show you guys they have beautiful candy coated packaging this is their curls redefined curl cream I also have a gel from this brand that I got at the same time and I'm gonna be doing a whole wash day using this brand probably in the springtime. From Unicurl we've got the 4-in-1 Styler. It says that this is a leave-in, a detangler, a curl cream, and a moisturizer. I've had good luck using this all the ways except for as a detangler but this used to be one of my favorite products. I really enjoyed it the first time I used it and then every subsequent time after. This is a Unicurl Curl Fantasy Styling Gel. I think that if I use this for a wash and go it would give me some definition but it would also leave me with a lot, a lot of volume to the point where it wouldn't last a long time. So it's like a nice clear gel. It looks like it has some weight to it so I think it'll do a good job and I'll set a twist. A little sneaky one from Shea Moisture. Their Peace Rose Oil Nourish and Silken Styling Gel Cream. It's got date palm and camellia extract. Kind of liquidy sort of product so I am definitely going to be using this. Can we guess? Can we guess? Bun and ponytail 100%. This is the Kiss My Face Upper Management Styling Gel. It said it has medium hold. I got this from Vitacost.com. It's basically like a nice aloe vera based gel with a few extracts thrown in the mix. So this is another one that won't be for a wash and go but I'll be using it some of the other ways that we've talked about in this video. I tried to give this to John but something about it he just doesn't want to use it. I think he is just loyal to his wet line extreme. This is the Labella Extreme Sport Styling Gel. I also have another Labella somewhere in his old bathroom. I'm trying to go through the house and like reorganize stuff now since he's like gone gone for good. It was on clearance. 94 Centaruskis from Sultanicals. A big old salon size of the Curl Blaze Hair Glaze. It's got marshmallow root, coconut oil, and blue malva. This is a very very loose product. So dry hair vibes for sure. This is one of my favorite stylers. This is the Pure by Made Beautiful Replenishing Styling Cream. It gives good moisture and soft hold at the same time so it's a really nice balance. Great one and done. I can also use it on dry hair. This one has product trying to escape the jar. This is a Camille Rose Lavender Crush Curl Defining Gel. I love the packaging on this. It also comes with one of those flip lids that I really enjoy but I didn't find that this one gave me extra hold. Definitely more so a twisting gel only for me. This is a big favorite from Sultanicals I have yet to use. This is the Frozen Drip and Grip Super Hold Gel. This is supposed to be their most firm holding gel. I am definitely planning to use this for a wash and go. I haven't had it success using anything from Sultanicals as far as stylers go for wash and goes. I usually only use them for twists and buns and things. From Curl of Essence, the Flax Seed and Chia Seed Nourishing Hair Gel. You guys know the deal with Curl of Essence when I mention them. Short version, don't buy from them. Bad, don't do it. Curl of Essence, highly, highly do not recommend. I feel like I talked about this one in my leave-in slash moisturizers video. It's making another cameo appearance in the stylers video because that's the way that I use it most often even though it does make a really awesome some moisturizer. This is from Mozeki, their Babasu Twisting Cream. It is the product that made me realize just how much my hair loved Babasu Oil. These are both from Curl Origin. This is the Agave and Apricot Moisture Drench Rich Cream. It's specifically targeted for hydration and moisture for coarse hair. This one I got for Black Friday one year along with the other two. The second one is the Curl Origin Honey Hibiscus Moisturizing Curl Smoothie. I think this one is going to be a little bit on the lighter side for sure. And I've had really good luck with the Honey Hibiscus line from Curl Origin, this one being my front runner maybe. From Obia Naturals, we've got the Curl Moisture Cream. I really like the idea of Obia Naturals, but this is another brand where my hair just doesn't seem to love most of the products. It leaves my hair feeling all right, but it gives kind of like a dull cast to it. Another one from She Scented is the Papaya Perfect Coils Curling Milk. It's a curl defining cream for all hair types. I don't think this is going to be able to give me any definition. So although this can be used as a styler, I think with the thickness and coarseness of my hair, this is going to definitely lean more towards moisturizer territory. From Nectar in Maine, the Curl Moisturizing Butter Cream. I'm thinking it might also make a nice lightweight one and done, especially when it warms up a little 
little bit. Same with this one, the Annabelle's Perfect Blend Aloe and Honey Buttercream. This line, unfortunately, has been discontinued, the Aloe and Honey. This is the Untouchable Definition and Unmatched Volume Bold Buttery Gel. This gel has black charcoal and black cumin. Get off my finger! The color is pretty cool. You can see that charcoal in there. As I've talked about before, after I use up my main choice stuff, I don't plan to get anything else because even the stuff that I love has been completely reformulated. This one I had been so conflicted about. This is from their Ancient Egyptian line, their gold gel as I like to call it because it literally has pretty little gold flecks in it. Kind of like shimmery, like really, really pretty and I can actually see these in my hair but not in a cool little like fairy dust way. It literally just looks like I have product build up on my hair when I use this gel. So that's where the conflicted feeling comes in. But the way it makes my hair feel and the actual twist when I use it on my twist out, beautiful. But the little weird gold flakies are not giving what I thought they would give. This is the Ancient Egyptian Anti-Breakage and Repair Antidote 24 Karat Glistening Gold Twisting Gel. Now on a happy side with the main choice is my favorite gel from them that I've tried. This is the main choice Cheers Supreme Strength and Full Protection Gel Lotto. This is from their Cheers collection. It had beer infused into all the products. The only thing about this product is that it is very very sticky. It's not like the same type of sticky as the Shea Moisture Moisture curling souffle not quite that level of stick stick it gives me a lot more hold than that one but I was surprised that I got such good results with this on a wash and go because it is more of a looser texture I got this for such a good deal from Bed Bath & Beyond oh the tag is covering it. It's the main choice Kool-Aid Gelato, I'm pretty sure, or Jello. But when I saw this for $3.78, I was like, what do we got to lose? Let's do it. From Casey by Care Care, the line that last time I checked is still at Sally Beauty. This is the Curl Essence Moisturizing Curling Jelly. Every time I talk about a product from this brand, I love to mention how you get so much for such an affordable price. It's a true jelly. Very, very watery. Some more cheap thrills and big old sizes. From Ampro Style, got the olive oil gel. One of these days, we're gonna crack this open and use this. And though I haven't used the blue version before, I have used the clear of the Wetline Extreme that comes in this little kind of OG purse type of style like they used to do. This is the Wetline Extreme Styling Gel with Aloe Vera. It says it's extra firm hold for 24 hours. So maybe that's why it's blue? I don't know. So in the middle of editing this video, I found two big old bags of stylers. So many. I think we're going to be doing a part two, guys. I know that a lot of us are big, big fans of stylers. As you can tell, I, <laughs> I love them so much. I have such a huge, huge variety in my stash. I think this is probably going to be the biggest video in this series. Let me know down in the comment section below what are some of your favorite stylers. And I want to give a big shout out to the people who saw my community post where I was talking about what happened to my car. I mentioned that it really really helps to play the playlist of my videos in the background whether you're doing laundry or cooking, just doing something else and just having it playing. Any little bit that helps with YouTube with everything just being just really weird right now with that whole thing is a big big help. So I just really want to take a moment to shout out and thank the people who let me know they were keeping my playlist on in the background. I'm going to be doing a story time as I mentioned. I'm going to have to go to court. It's going to be a whole thing y'all. So you guys are awesome and thank you again. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. All interaction with videos really helps to push them out into the YouTube algorithm. Whether that's just something as simple as liking the video, leaving your favorite emoji down in the comment section, sharing it, watching it all the way through. That watch time is huge on YouTube. You name it, it all adds up and really helps. Likewise, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so as well. I would love to have you. Remember to upload videos every Friday with some short form content in the meantime, in between time. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye!